What we want to talk about is basically Ethan's off-season he had from 2018 New Zealand NBL to 2019 NBL. You obviously didn't play anywhere, um, which you should have, but you didn't play anywhere in, the, in that off-season. And then a lot of people were like, how did this guy get so much better between those two ended seasons with having... How, how long Bro. was that season? Eight months? Seven months, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Let me say, like, from the last time I saw you to, like, now, yeah. crazy, yeah. bro. Like, I was like, who is this dude? Like, yeah. like a brand new player. Knocked down the field. So, yeah, talk about what, what went into that improvement. Because I, I know what you did because we've talked about it so much. Wow. I can't wait for this story to get out and people to hear because this shit is crazy. I mean, yeah. just straight work it. Yeah, I'm going to let you talk. You talk about your off season. <laughs> Give us a day in the life, maybe, that, but you did it. Just oh, that's work lines. That's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> More de- in depth. In depth. No, yeah. Um, so, obviously, I, I want to get, um, like, contracts and stuff outside of the New Zealand League because um, there's a, a lot better basketball being played out there in the world that I want to be a part of and, and kind of show my game and, and be a part of that too. So, um, finding motivation sometimes can be kind of hard like if I don't get a contract I'm just kind of like no man that's mud but then I don't it's another one of those things I don't really dwell on it um I don't want a regular job so Mm. I have to put in as much work as I can to put myself in the best position to to play at a high level so I mean if I was to go through like a day in the life of like a last off season I'd probably go like three four training sessions a day um but that's Mm. not just that's just not on court like that'll be like maybe maybe two on court and then a couple in the gym. So I'll, I'll get up in the morning, I'll go lift, um, and then I'll go go get an on court session. Sometimes that was me paying like $6 to go to Whadanui, uh gym in Rikidin and, and using like half a court when the rest of the court's being used by like a bunch of like Filipino dudes just trying, <laughs> trying to play full court and stuff, asking me if I want to play. But um, yeah, sometimes it would just be me being there, um, getting up like five, at least 500 makes, and it was most, 95% of the time, I'll just be rebounding for myself, so it was just shoot, chase it, shoot, chase it, get a chair, grab a cone, and do some other stuff, try to do uh, all kind of stuff, and try and, I guess, mimic as best I can uh, what a game situation would be um, with one person in a cone. So, I mean, sometimes it, it felt like it was, I was just kind of headbutting the wall a little bit, but, um, I mean, I'm not going to get any better if I'm just sitting there, so... I thought at least the the least I can do is actually be in the gym working. Um, after those workouts, I'll go. I go to F45 Rickerton. Shout out F45 Rickerton. F45 um, boy. Yeah, they keep my lungs in check all the time. Uh, Dan Montgomery in particular. Um, he was always he was always hurting me, man. Like putting me on the assault bike, the rower, the butt, get me on the pads. He was cooking me daily. So um, having that was was pretty good in terms of keeping my my lungs in check. Um, and then after that, I would try to get like an evening session on court, whether it be just shooting by myself or with a partner, or if we could get like a, a run in, get a bunch of guys down, just organize a little run and, and play for a couple of hours just to get some game reps in. But I mean, in a nutshell, that's kind of what I did. And it was, it was just a very repetitive process. It was very, I will just do pretty much the exact same every day. Sometimes I didn't have gym access, so if I couldn't, get into Whadanui, like the, the gym I paid $6 at, then I'll just go, I'd like text a few people. Um, some some of the, the Canterbury Rams organization, they helped me out a little bit. They let me use um, their facilities a little bit when they were available. So um, that was that was much appreciated too. That helped big time. But yeah, I mean, depending on availability, like sometimes it can be pretty hard getting access to gyms and stuff like that um, to get basketball skill work in. But, um, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, especially with the the growing popularity popularity of basketball in New Zealand, it's getting harder and harder to find a gym nowadays. There's yeah. always like a school game on or like school training, which is cool to see, but it just gets hard for us to to find somewhere to work out. You have to work out during the day when the school when school's at you, aren't it? Yeah. But that's crazy. Like that just I mean, it's a testament to how far you've come and how how much improvement you put on uh, with how much you work. I think. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, definitely it's, good getting recognised. Like, yeah. I mean. I think I'm the only one on the team that hasn't got a, a, a gig at the moment, so it's kind of not cool, but in a way it is cool seeing that. Well, you see how many people think you should have a gig, like yeah, that, yeah. that should be cool as well. Yeah, no, that's cool because people just see you like last night. You you checked in, and this is against Brazil in the World Cup, probably the biggest basketball game you ever played in your life. After coming off a New Zealand season and nothing before that, and you catch and shoot that yeah. in the corner, first touch of the ball, 
probably first position playing. Wop. Wop. <laughs> and then the other three we made was like, we, we watched in films, they two seconds of the shot clock and your face whack. You know, people just see that and it's like, well, actually, what's the work behind that? That's 500 made shots by yourself. Yeah paying for a gym in Riverton after doing some functional 45 minute work. <laughs> like, that's crazy. That's man. crazy to me because any basketball player listening to this, you know how hard rebounding for yourself is. No, that's yeah. the thing that amazed me. Yeah. You know, it's easier easy if you make them all. Uh, <laughs> I'm not used but, to that. <laughs> <laughs> it would take me like twice as long as you. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Congrats, brother. That's, that's cool. Yeah, appreciate it.